Hi, Todd Fletcher, Combative Firearms Training. In the drill of the month this month, what we're going to talk about is from, uh, transitions from the rifle to the handgun. When we're doing these transitions, what we need to do, especially at these close distances, is to make sure that we finish the fight before we worry about what's going on with our, our rifle. Now, at extended distances, maybe we want to take the extra time to get our rifle back in play. But at close distances, at these close quarter type engagements, we need to get shots on target and finish the fight. A couple of things when you're out practicing the transitions from your rifle to your handgun. Number one, make sure you get the rifle back on safe. It's still a loaded weapon and who knows, magically it can come back and uh, be operable again. And if that's the case, you want to make sure that it's on safe. Number two, get the rifle out away from you. The last thing that you need is to complicate your gunfight uh, with this rifle hanging down here straight while you're moving, potentially going off and uh, hurting you or just causing a distraction by banging the center line of your body. Probably not something that you want to have to deal with in the middle of your fight. The second thing is get the rifle up and out of the way so you can get the handgun up and on target. Once you get the handgun up, make sure of your hits, finish the fight. After the fight, we can go back to diagnosing what went on with the rifle and get it back in place since it is our primary weapon system. Again, at these close distances, gun on safe, gun away from the center line of your body, finish the fight. At farther distances, go ahead and diagnose, see what's going on because it is a much more effective uh, weapon in a gunfight. We hope to see you out on the range.